What is it like to be a world-renowned artist, but be forced to hide your artwork from the public? Today, we're meeting a man who's risking it all to preserve the tradition of Japanese tattooing for future generations. For thousands of years, tattoos have been part of cultures all over the world. I'm Chelsea Pineda. And I'm Sydney Kramer. Together, we're on a journey to discover the history, traditions, and future of body art. This is Ink Expedition. We're here in Japan to learn about the art of traditional Japanese tattooing. And we're meeting with Choshu Horikazu, a tattoo artist known for preserving the art of tabori. Horikazu is legendary in the tattooing community, but in public, he's forced to cover his ink under long sleeves because tattoos are still widely condemned in Japanese culture. My name is Choshu Horikazu. I'm working on the Yamaguchi Ken, and I'm working on the Yamaguchi Ken in the world's tattoo convention. Only in his studio can he reveal his body art and tattoo as his true self. Tabori is a traditional tattoo in Japan since the beginning of Japan. Tabori is a traditional tattoo in Japan since the beginning of Japan. Tabori is a traditional tattoo in Japan since the beginning of Japan. Tabori is a traditional tattoo in Japan since the beginning of Japan. Tabori has been practicing Tabori for 14 years. The ancient tattoo method uses a long rod that plunges ink into the skin with sharp needles. For a tattoo client, Tabori can be a way to connect to the past. But Horikazu's clients must hide his artwork from the world. We met with tattoo anthropologist Lars Krutak, who explained the origins of Japan's tattoo taboos. Making tattoos via hand is a nod to tradition and it expresses great cultural pride. And for the tattoo client, it is a way to experience something that is both ancient and spiritual. Perhaps the earliest written record of tattooing in Japan dates to 400 AD, when it has been described that a man tried to overthrow the emperor and as a form of punishment, he was given a tattoo near his eye. And for the next 1,000 years, tattooing was associated with criminal acts, and it's been sort of widely stereotyped as something extremely negative. Today, people from all walks of life receive tattoos in Japan. There are still a lot of stigmas attached to them. And if you go to a public beach or even a bathhouse, people with tattoos are not admitted whatsoever. The stigma of tattoos in modern Japan belies a rich cultural history. Long after tattooing was used as a form of punishment, it was popularized in the Edo period between the years 1603 and 1868. During this time, stories were told of anti-authoritarian heroes who wore body art as spiritual armor. These stories resonated with the people of Japan who are looking for ways to express themselves in a rigid class system. Inspired by the folklore, everyday heroes like firefighters began to use tattoos as their own form of protection. Sensing the subversive nature against the class system hidden in the tattoos, the emperor's government issued bans against them, driving the art form underground. Choshu Horikazu has chosen to honor history's forgotten fighters by continuing to practice Tabori, despite the stigma. Japan's tattoo is a wonderful thing to do. It is a very important place to be in the history and history. It is a very important place to be in the history and history. In the studio, Horikazu's hidden canvases are free to be on full display. He 
offered us a temporary freehand tattoo, and we couldn't resist getting inked by the master, even if it was just a marker. Goblin. That's what I was thinking. I'm just going to wash off the medium. It stays on your skin. この素晴らしい日本の伝統芸術を継承し、発展させていくことができるように、初心を忘れず精進していこうと思います。There are signs that tattoos are becoming less stigmatized in modern Japan, and it's possible that eventually, Horikazu and his clients won't have to hide their true selves from the world. Until then, the deep emotional and historical significance of Dabori is enough to warrant a life of secrecy. For Horikazu, the preservation of traditions is worth every personal sacrifice. Next time on Ink Expedition, we're meeting Pat Fish, who is famous for her intricate Celtic knot tattoos. <laughs>